Welcome back everybody to mcpern.com, our survival series. We are here in our second episode in the middle of a snowfield, overlooking a nice view. Yes, we do not have a home yet. We have raided some villages, we have killed a few animals, got a few supplies. Um, and now we have to make our way down this high mountain and find a place to call home. I was hoping to do it in the last episode, but we're picky. We didn't find the area. I mean, in fact, closer to spawn is more like what I would prefer to build in. Um, because it had Taiga and all that good stuff. Can we do this? <laughs> that would be terrible if we die on our second episode. <laughs> but we did. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're picky. We want to find a place to call home. And so hopefully we will do that in this episode. Um. Let's build a boat. Less effort to travel, you know? There we are. I notice I'm not getting any of the achievements. That's because, uh, you know, we've already done almost everything on the server except for the new, the new advancements. Um, I did think about... Uh, resetting all my stats and achievements but you know i'm not that's not as important to me as just having fun and you know we've been playing on this server for years so we'll just keep it as is we might do a different character and do that um but for now we're okay all right i do love the new rivers this is one thing that is really nice about 1.18 is that you know rivers are rivers now they are a little deep <laughs> now of course this is in a deep canyon it kind of makes sense but even just in general rivers can be extremely deep now um deeper than the oceans around them which is kind of funny you know a little bit so but i i do love it because now you can travel from ocean to ocean lake to lake uh via rivers and you don't have to worry about, you know, the river pittering out into these little thin, narrow, you know, things that you can't go through with a boat. So boats are cool. Now it'd be nice. I know in the next episode they've said there would be a boat with a chest. So that'll be nice. It'd be neat, too, if you could make larger ships. Um, imagine a bridge across this canyon somewhere. That would be cool. Um, you could... You know, if you could make larger ships and, you know, make a moving base on a ship and stuff like that. But, you know, then you're kind of getting out from the default Minecraft settings. Interesting terrain. Looks like we're coming out of the canyon now through a narrow opening. <clears throat> New generation, as you can see, all the lava is pouring down the hill. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the next... 1.19 all the birch forest will be brand new that'll be interesting all right what am i looking for in a base well i want to go this way no it just ends i am kind of looking for something that Looks like Spawn, <laughs> where we started in the first episode. Um, because, is this a jungle? Yeah, this is a jungle. Um, I want to build in a mega, a mini mega Taiga area near to that, um, but near some high mountains as well. So it's kind of picky, it'd be kind of hard, difficult to find. We got a nice jungle over here. We got a bed. It's getting dark, so we can sleep. Um, some bamboo, all kinds of resources in this area, but still not what we're looking for. Uh, obviously, a big dripstone cave there. I think we're going to run out of river finally. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Where's our bed? It's a blue bed because we stole it from a village. We were mean. We stole it from an igloo. 
There were two beds in the igloo. I figured they only needed one. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep. There we go. <laughs> I love being able to sleep at night in a bed. Ah, that is nice. Very, very nice. Um, not that I'm necessarily afraid of defending myself. I don't, I don't have a problem, but when you're trying to just explore, fighting off mobs constantly can be, you know, a nightmare, right? It's, it's no fun. How do we get up this mountain? Try that waterfall over there. That one would be harder to go up. This one would be easier. So we'll go this way. And we'll go up the water. We'll swim like a fishy. Uh, maybe. We have no depth strider, so swimming is a little slow and painful. Dum, dum, dum. But this is the faster way to get up the mountain. Here we go. And... Do we have a place we can stand? We do. Aha! Oh, I hear a cow. Hi, cow. You're lucky that I don't need you right now. Hello, bumblebee. Off into the deep dark. I can't wait to explore, but I want some armor and stuff first. <laughs> Otherwise, um, we won't last long. Because when it gets dark, it gets dark. All right, so we came all the way up here, and oh, some bad lands. That's cool. Got jungle behind us. Bad lands right over here. <laughs> Let's come check it out. I mean, I could build in the bad lands, but talk about desolate terrain. Although. In 1.18, I've seen some really... Whoa, that was a rubber band. <laughs> I've seen some really awesome generation in how the Badlands work now. I, I mean, obviously, they're much higher, as you can see. Cool. Huh. So do we cross the Badlands? They are bad, you know. Would we have trouble crossing them? <laughs> we got deep canyon over there I can tell you can see the terrain interesting interesting over this direction we have jungle hmm this way's that way's back towards spawn could be interesting to build in the badlands Huh. It'd be different. I'm not sure. Well, I guess we keep looking. So hopefully you didn't want excitement right away. Because, uh, you know, we're searching for a place to build and call home before we do true exploring. If we can get down this hill, I chose a very uh, iffy route. But so far, we're doing okay. <laughs> All that effort to climb the hill on the other side, just to come back down. <laughs> um, hmm. I've never really built built in a jungle either. So many choices. I shouldn't be so picky. We're going to spend episodes, episodes, and episodes just running around in circles. You're going to get bored of me. <laughs> um, but no, we'll, we'll, we'll do okay. Tempted to... No, no, we won't mind. I'm going... I'm tempted to get these resources. It's a jungle. It's a badlands. They're so hard to find. Not true. 1.18 has many biomes. They're actually easy to find stuff like that. All right. Hey, it's our last piece of chicken already. Good thing we got pork. Time to change it up. Oh, no, we got one on the chick. Okay. All right, back to the river. Um, hmm. I, er, this is so, you know, I'm very tempted. I could build near here. It would be all right. But it's like in my last series, I built in the desert and savanna type areas, hot biomes. 
that's why it was kind of like, you know, I should build in the cold biome, right? Um, that would be different. <laughs> There's a neat Badlands area over there. That's the spikes and everything and the high cliffs. That's always cool. All right, well, let's skirt the edge of the jungle. We're going to kind of circle around spawn, I think, is what we're going to end up doing um, at a 2,000 block range or so. And just kind of see what's around. You know, and that'll give us a good decision of, you know, do we want to build? I was going to say, is this a village? But it's just... Oh, it is a village. Okay. I was going to say, I've never seen a watering hole with cows. But there's a village over here. Okay, okay. All right, well, this village has some problems. <laughs> First of all, this house is in a very dangerous area. Look at all that sand that could just fall down on your head. Sir... Why did you build in these locations? Oh, you shut the door. Hey, that's my torch. You can't have it. I want my torch. It's very bad. Great view that direction. Look at that. That's awesome. This is an itty bitty village. What is there? Only three how oh no, there's more how oh my goodness. Okay, Minecraft, you have um messed up. Nice little library there. I have seen this in several don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. We'll take another piece of bread and we'll take these four iron. We'll be able to make armor very easily. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I've seen this in 1.18 quite a bit because of the caves and cliffs. Now, I thought they would have worked on fixing it in the snapshots. Um, because I saw bug reports, I saw people report it that villages, you know, were being messed up and were generating really weird, um, but it looks like, nope, still a bug. Maybe they'll fix it. I don't know why I'm coming up here to these houses. There's probably nothing in them. Cat. You are causing... Oh, here's all the villagers. You're all up here where you're stuck and you can't do anything. <laughs> this village is a disaster. Maybe somebody will have heart come along and rescue all of these villagers and, you know, fix up their houses and, you know, fix some paths and, you know, build some castle walls on the hill here. Something like that. Let's see, I came up here for nothing. <laughs> now, I did see, however, off in that direction, more savannah. Well, we don't want savannah, but... All right, we're going to circle around spawn, which means we need to go this direction. I can't make this... I don't think I can make that jump without... Uh, hurting too much. I have <laughs> not much armor. All right, bye, village of disaster, and I never want to see you again. <laughs> yeah, that's a terrible village. So let's go this way. Um, we're going to start moving in this direction because I think we've come out about 2,000 blocks. I just don't want to go through the jungle, but there is a... Um, large body of water over here so we can kind of use that to skirt around the shore back towards spawn oh looks like we got one of the new songs that has playing in the background hopefully it's not too loud on the recording but uh very nice i like minecraft music it's all really nice all right so there's a jungle temple or a Ocean Monument, I should say. So let's go this way. This takes us back towards spawn. And let's kind of circle around the edge of this ocean. Maybe we'll find what we're looking for. Um, for a build. That would be good. Like we got either another village or a drowned village over here on the edge of the jungle. 
So far, closer to spawn is the area that I prefer to build. But uh, maybe we'll find something over here. Wouldn't be bad to be near an ocean. Um, just because easy transportation to find new lands and explore and stuff like that. But uh, let's take a look now that we've been over there. We'll go this way. Yeah, that's a drowned village. Ah, global warming, you know. That's what happens with global warming. Your villages, they end up underwater. So all of you living, you know, near the coastlines, um, good luck to you. You do not have long to live. <laughs> Let's come over here near this shipwreck. I'm assuming that's a shipwreck sticking out of the water on the other side of this island. Let's sleep really quick. I don't mind doing things in the night, but, you know, it's always better to do them during the day. <laughs> All right, so let's go around uh, the little island here. Yeah, it's a shipwreck. Tempted to explore it, but... Uh, We'll hold off. Again, priority. We need we need a place to call home. And unfortunately, that ship is underwater, so it, we could survive underwater, but, you know, not worth it. All right. We are leaving the jungles, entering the deep dark woods. There's an azalea tree. There must be a uh, lush caves biome underneath. That's how you can find lush caves easy is look for azalea trees. Okay. Well, you know, if nothing else, this is good because from a perspective of, you know, once we decide a base, we now know where stuff is that it could be near the base. You know, we know where we can get um, perch. We know where we can get jungle wood. We know where we can get dark oak. We know where we can get snow and ice. We know where we can get sand and acacia and jungle wood because we found all of those biomes already. <laughs> I th we've discovered almost every biome in the game already in the overworld except for the cave biomes oh no we've been in both the cave biomes already flesh caves yep dripstones yep um we just need a mushroom island and we're solved <laughs> that's another area i've never built is a mushroom island you know that's the, always the safe place to build just because mobs don't spawn um on in mushroom biomes which is really interesting. I don't know why, but someone made that decision that they are safe from mobs. All right. So let's circle around. We're just going to circle around the water here, hoping that we find what we're looking for. Hello, sheepies. Any mountains nearby? Any good, cool places to build? What about you, donkey? Or mule, I can't tell which one you are from here. I think you're a, a donkey. I think. Could be wrong. Alright, well, we're not finding very much exciting this direction so far. Some horses, we do have a saddle. We could elect to leave the water. Oh, we're getting back into the snow, which must mean we're getting near back near the spawn area. There's a ruined portal over there. I was leaning towards building in a um, snowy biome, but I don't want just plain boring snow. Well, you know, I want good stuff. Okay. Far away from spawn. Let me see. We're still 3,000 blocks in one direction and 1,500 in another direction away from spawn. Um, so technically going this way we get closer, but we're also on the opposite side of spawn now where we're getting farther if we go that way. So this is ocean. Well, this isn't ocean, but behind me and to the left. Okay, here's our trees again. Will we find some nice hills? 
we could just you know why are we jumping around just do this <laughs> we have a boat we have ice we can go all kinds of places it's a little hard to control the server's keeping up or actually our render uh, uh, but we can make it across over here to this ice <laughs> There's a polar bear. Hello, bear. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> well, that was an interesting little trip. It, it's hard to... You get around fast on ice, but it is hard to control where you're going. All right. So this should be headed back towards spawn a little bit. In this deep... Well, it's not that deep. Well, I guess it is. Look how much lava there is now. Or no, magma blocks, not lava. I know they increased that a lot because of the cave generation. Um, so I guess it's affecting the oceans as well. To where it automatically, you know, aquifer type caves are supposed to generate um, a lot of extra magma blocks. So that you can actually explore an aquifer cave. Um, and not worry about running out of uh, oxygen. Kind of found ourselves our glacial biome here, our iceberg biome. <laughs> That's cool. Now it needs to be two million times that size so that it creates a giant mountain. Then it would be cool. <laughs> um, hmm. We need some viewpoint. We need a viewpoint. So we can act. Oh, that's why I can't run. I'm low on food again. We're going to eat up all of our food just trying to find a place to call home. <laughs> all right. Through the ice. Uh oh, there's a bear with a mama. She's gonna be angry if we get near her cub. Don't blame her. Okay, we've kind of got ourselves into a, a bad area, to be honest. As far as getting around, <laughs> we have all the extra work we have to do to get around. So maybe we'll come over here to this land area instead so this way still goes towards spawn yeah, spawn would be that way so we, we're still going in the right direction and we're only 2,000 less than 2,000 blocks out so yeah we can we can come up here and explore a little bit on the land and kind of see what's up. We got we got one aspect. We've got some taiga trees. It's not the mega taiga that I like. But I mean, that's something towards what we're trying to find. There's a beehive. Hello, beehive. We will eventually need one of you there's another village over here not gonna explore it that's i want to call it home but this isn't really the area that i want to be in as well um, this landmass just ends over here huh um bears you're kind of uh well, polar bears do come on land, even if there's no snow, so I guess that's okay. Must be mom, that must be dad. <laughs> and the baby's there. More ice and water and ocean. <sighs> well... What else can we do but keep exploring, right? That's what we're doing. 
we're trying to find a place to call home. We, you know, should we just build into the ice? We're going to tunnel into one of these uh, icebergs. Hope it doesn't melt. <laughs> That'll be one way to do it. Which way do we go? Do we go on this side or the other side? There's more forest over here, so that's good. Now all we need is the high mountain behind it and some mega taiga. And I would be excited. I would be totally thrilled to go. That's where we want to build. But if we have to settle, we could settle for an island like this. I don't know if this is an island, but it might be. We could. It would work, right? My cat's looking at me going, what are you talking to yourself for? <laughs> He's sitting here on the desk, staring at me. <laughs> All right. Um, we're running out. So do we head... Let me see. We're still, you know, 600 blocks this way from spawn. So spawn's still that direction. Okay. We're, 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 we're okay. We're, we're making our circle here. So we got another big ocean here. I was hoping for something. This is going to take a while. Yep. We're not going to sleep. We're going to swim the night away. I do know, though, that the further we go this way and that way, the more chance there is of finding old generated chunks. It should be quite a ways out, but, you know, there is that possibility. All right, so we've got roofed forest, birch forests, swamp over here. Um, we might as well take a look over here closer to spawn, um, just north of spawn, just to see what's here. And if we need to, we can come back and go that way. Yeah, see, there's more of the taiga here. It's not the mega type taiga, and there's no high mountains, and of course now it's going to rain. Suppose the Minecraft world is telling us something, something. You better find shelter. Build your shelter. Otherwise, we shall storm on you. <laughs> It'll be a nice one. Optifying um, is updated as well because I can put my uh, shader pack back on. I, of course, I like vanilla, but I do like the effects of you know shader packs as well. More birch over here. More jungle over, or not jungle, swamp, more taiga. And don't hit the lily pad. Oh, too late. Okay, we collected some lily pads. And that's just where we were a moment ago. Hmm. Snow right next to a swamp. That doesn't quite make sense, does it? <laughs> All right. Well, I know we're running out of time on our episode again, which means we're going to go into a third episode without finding a home. I am almost tempted to select one of these little, like this island here type thing and just build on the island. But at the same time, I want to keep exploring and find a place that I'm, I really like, that we can do all of our projects on. Uh, we can build up our kingdom, farms, you know, all that good stuff, right? And, of course, explore underground lots. We have lots of plans. I do want to build an underground expressway transportation system. You know, now typically it'd be better to build it in the nether, but um, with the caves, imagine these beautiful glass or open tunnels going through lush caves and dripstone caves and, it, and 
huge caverns. I think that would be cool, right? That's a long-term project far down the line. But uh, that is something I would like to do. Looks like we've got lots of swamp over here. <laughs> we are finding all of the areas that we don't want to find right now. There's a witch's hut, I think. Yep. I suppose the witch is home. Hello, witch. Do you have any cookies? Are you one of those types of witches that makes cookies for children? Hmm, we're going to have lots of... Uh... Yes, the witch is home. Hello, witch. <laughs> Uh, okay, well. I think we are done collecting lily pads. It is rainy. We're going to hide under this tree. We're going to sleep. And we're going to see you in the next episode. Thanks for joining, everybody.